the front of the case we got hugging cats and this is a glass uh, it looks like Cinderella's carriage and horses I'm shocked it's not broken that's really cool and they have shelves everywhere now so we haven't been here in a little little bit Jenny's kitchen Pokemon Here's RS Germany, $3.99. It looks like a ceramic hair receiver. That's pretty, art, it has an art deco design and I'm rocking my bracelets. I'm calling on Kate to find some, uh, calling on the Kate Bangle Energy to find some kitsch today. <laughs> looks like someone donated all of their duck things. A whole bunch of duck decorations. And look, the switch plates are cute. Those are cute. Pulled back so you can see it better. Here's a bird seashell. Where all the duck things. These are cute. These uh, switch plate things. $2.99 for those. Let's see. Oh. Here's a lid. Oh, here it goes with this. That's three little leg Noritake. Little dresser jar. That's pretty. Has a lot of wiggle bit. Um, You're gonna go look for books? Kiss. Okay. This is not for food use. I'm not sure about this one. It has a lot of wear on it. We'll see. Okay. We have a little vase. What'd you find? It's not a toy for once. It's not a toy, is it's it a not, movie? It's not a Monopoly. <laughs> oh, we know this guy. Kind of. Jenny, um, we met a lady who works for him at the yeah, at a Goodwill, and, he did a, little, and yeah. he did a little video for Jenny, greeting her. Oh, well that's kind of fun. Oh, is it for, can two people in up play? Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Two to six players. Oh, hey, we're two to play six players. <laughs> Do you want to get that? That yes, looks like definitely. fun. Yeah, he's a super nice person. I'm, I'm he encouraged. <laughs> he encouraged Jenny with her artwork and. I'm gonna go back real quick. It was pretty there. neat. I, I literally got distracted the second <laughs> I saw that. Okay. Look at these. These are super pretty. Look at the detail on that. It's really nice. Fancy schmancy. That's four ninety nine. It's really pretty. It's marked right there. I wonder what that says if we can read it on the inside. It's Corning. Corning brand. Huh. I would have never guessed that. It's really pretty. And that's the lid. The lid really was on there. Interesting. This is pretty. That was pretty when it was colored in. That's too big to ship. That's pretty though. Isn't that pretty, huh, bun? Mm -hmm. I like the color on that. And don't get mad at me, but I'm leaving these here. They're neat, but I don't think they would be like, oh, I really needed that. Yeah. But I'm going to admire how pretty they are. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So don't yell at me in the comments, please. Mm -hmm. That is, that's way too small. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too small. Look how small that is. We need that ginormous. Ooh, look at this big snowman. That's neat. Oh, oh, I did not did not expect that to happen. Teleflora gift. That's pretty. How much is that? $4.99. I spy some Jim Shore. <laughs> Jenny's dancing. Oh, it's damaged. Oh, that's a sh oh, and she's lost her wings. Oh, okay. That's probably why she's still here. Let's see what else is here. Let's see what's that. Oh, it's a little you see me stitchery kit. That's cute. What's this for? Oh, tiny little things. Speaking of small toys for your dogs, look. What? Where's the wet dog? Where's the dog that was just rolling in things? <laughs> this could be her. Tell Maybe. Yes. <laughs> it's cute. All it's really warm in here. It usually, it tends to be warm in here. In the winter time, it's warm in here. Now this is a bigger size for your dog toys. Perfect. That's a big one. Charlie would try and get in there. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty. 
Let's see, I like how they have it all spread out now. If you haven't guessed already, we are at the Royerstown Goodwill. I was teasing Jenny. She didn't want this giant spoon. <laughs> and then next to it was a holy water font, most likely for your home. I had never seen one this large. And when I turned it over, I realized it most likely was a hobbyist piece. It wasn't marked, but it did have, I think, a mold mark on it. And that's why I knew there was a chip to Mary's nose. And it was very, very large. I usually do pick these up. Goble makes them. And I do pick up those. Moving further down the aisle was this dog shirt. I could probably get Charlie or Susie to wear that, but I think Barney or Indy would be like, no, we're not doing that. On the top were these adorable cookie jars, a cow and a, it looks like a bag of cookies. And then this caught my eye. This maker of it is very, dis it's very distinguishable when you see these. And some of them sell very well, but most likely they are chipped because of how they are made. Here are some recent solds that are not mine. They're not crazy money, but if you can buy in at a really low price, this isn't that bad of a profit. And then on the top, they had all the dolls. And I always ask Jenny, which doll would you like? And she always says, I don't want any of them. And she's probably tired of that joke, but I have to do it every time she comes shopping with me. Some dolls are very, very beautiful. And I have sold China dolls in the past. You never know. I usually do a quick look over to see if there's anything spectacular. Here I am sharing that when I was a kindergarten teacher, I did have this and I kept a picture of the finished uh, puzzle so I knew how it always went back together because it was pretty intricate. The kids like just playing with it. I don't think I had any of my kids able to put it back exactly how it was. We were winding up our trip here at Goodwill when I came across all of these vintage planters. I could tell they had some age to them. They weren't marked, so I put them in the Googler, as Rustic Orchid says. And the ducks, I believe, are McCoy. There was a frog planter around holding a lily pad. There was a schwan. <laughs> and it had some damage on the back side there, which is, which is a shame. I do like to pick up swans, even though they're not very popular. That is to hold your sponge. This, I, I like the color on that. It had a nice, pretty robin egg blue. The bottom looked old to me. So I was deciding which ones should I get? Which ones would you like as well? And then I'm checking out the bottom to see if there's anything else going on. There was this piece as well, but it also had a lot of damage there on the corner. Of course, I will sell things with a chip here or there, but something like that was kind of glaringly obvious. We are going to wind up our trip here to the Goodwill. Not a very long video, but it was a short shopping trip. Nonetheless, I wanted to share what I got with you. Here are the glass horses and the glass carriage. It was made in China. It is so pretty. I like how it's delicate looking, but it also is not so super fragile you're afraid to breathe on it. If you know what I mean. I really like how this cleaned up. It doesn't have any chips on it. It does have some wear, of course, to it. I do believe it is old, and I just love the color. Here are the two ducks. It looks like they had some paint on them at one time. The one on the right is a little bit more used than the other one. Here is what the hair receiver looks like on the bottom. I really like the style of the lid. It reminds me of Art Deco. I don't think it's Art Nouveau. I always get those two, one, <laughs> those two terms mixed up, but I really like the details on this lid. And the frog planter cleaned up very nicely. I really like the shininess of the glaze. There are no chips or cracks. I think it turned out super nice. In the very beginning of the video, you saw me pick up these, these little hugging cats. These will most likely be for sale on the train to Trippyville What Not Sale next Friday. And then here is the game. The odd ones out is who made this. And I ran into one of the designers that he uses, James uses, and her mom watches my show and then the daughter ended up purchasing something from me and then she must have mentioned something to James because he sent Jenny a message that I will put the link in the video to her encouraging her to keep up her artwork so that was very exciting this game is complete and it looks very simple which is nice and fast paced I think it'll work better with more than two players even though you can play with two players it's a lot of passing cards there are the directions if you want to pause it and you get these little critters, there's devil cards and lamp cards, kind of throw things into the mix. 
We are going to play it this weekend. I think that we are going to play it with Jimmy because then there will be more people and there will be more passing of the cards, which seems to be the main focus of the game. I also wanted to share with you this set of 112 dominoes that I made out of resin. This will be listed on my eBay store. The link to my eBay is in the description of every video. The box is not included. I think this is a super cool set. Christmas and Hanukkah is coming. They are blue, green, white with a little bit of gold. They are one of a kind. I won't be able to replicate how beautiful these are. Just wanted to share with you that this listing will be coming soon to eBay. I'm going to leave you a picture of Susie being so, so brave at the vet. I think she's telling me, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.